Go. All right, a very good morning. My name is Brian Moses Okothowano and welcome to today's Youth Talk Forum. Uh, we are continuing with the, the season, we are continuing the season uh, that is the relationship and today we are handling this specific topic, uh, man-church relationship. How does it work? How, what is its importance? And is it really necessary? Now, my panelists are with me in the studio today. Uh, a lady and a gentleman. Uh, I would like them to introduce themselves, beginning from the gentleman. I, I thought it's ladies first. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, uh, I'm Isaac Kitana, and I'm born again. Mm -hmm. And I'm happy to be here today to talk to us. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Thank you, Kitana, for coming. Mm -hmm. Peace, lady. Uh, shalom, my name is Gloria Mwendwa, I'm born again, I love the Lord, and I'm really blessed and privileged to be here. Yes. All right, thank you both for coming, and I know that this session is going to be an informative one, but before we begin, maybe Gloria has been a month or two before you came <laughs> How is the ground? Ground on Asemwazi. Ah, we took a ground zikopua sana, we bless the Lord. Yeah. It's oh, been right. amazing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Any yes. feedback? Any feedback? Uh, maybe from the congregation about our shows? Uh, sure, the feedback is uh, really great. Mm -hmm. So many topics uh, people would want us to discuss about, mm -hmm. which I believe with time we will. So much also from the previous talks that we have had that people would have wanted us to cover but we didn't cover. Mm -hmm. So I believe uh, with time we will get to cover all this by the grace of God. Yeah, sure. All right, thank you, Gloria. Uh, thank you even for the feedback, and I know yeah. that our directors <laughs> are listening and they're going to do something about that. Um, sure. Now, uh, beginning right away, maybe Isaac, mm -hmm. uh, before beginning, is there something like man-church relationship? Of course, I, I had to ask that. Man-church relationship. Uh, I think there is something <laughs> like that. <laughs> what is it? Uh, it's a... Uh, I say it's a relationship between you mm -hmm. and uh, 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 I can say the institution, the church. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you talk of institution, church, it's uh, uh, the people in the church. Mm -hmm. So you and fellow brethren, mm -hmm. you and the pastor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's a, a relationship between you and the people within the church setup. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe Gloria, <coughs> maybe can you add some? Maybe are there more stakeholders about this, or it's just me, the the the, the pastor, and maybe the fellow congregants? Uh, maybe what I would add on to what Isaac has said. We human beings are divided into I don't know whether to call them segments of the human life. There is the economic, spiritual, physical, uh, social, so many, and the spiritual, you get. So when we talk about man-church relationship, then the first relationship that comes into mind is the spiritual relationship. Mm -hmm. We all live in a society, in a community. Mm -hmm. Different societies, different communities. So when we are talking about man-church relationship, we are referring mostly to the spiritual aspect. Mm -hmm. You get the church community in whatever spiritual, uh, whatever makes you have the same beliefs. Mm -hmm. So how do you relate to the institution like Isaac said, and also the people in that institution? So that is how I would put man-church relationship uh, is it right to say maybe man mosque relationship, mm -hmm. <laughs> man temple relationship, yeah. depending on your spiritual belief, whatever it is that you believe in, mm -hmm. how, that kind of a relationship, how do you handle it? Mm -hmm. Yes. M maybe to elaborate more, what are these kind of like what are these kind of relationships here? Can you say like these are the kinds of relationships that we have in church or in mosque or in temple for that case? <laughs> Okay, there are so many types of relationships, mm -hmm. but mainly when we talk about the spiritual aspect, mm -hmm. then it is uh, how do we coordinate ourselves? 
remember in any relationship there is a hierarchy. Mm -hmm. There has to be who is on the top, mm -hmm. who precedes that and who precedes that one and who precedes that one, you get. Mm -hmm. So for me, when I hear about the man-church relationship, it would be more about who is the authority, the mm -hmm. spiritual authority mm -hmm. in that setup, in that relationship, mm -hmm. you get. Then from there, uh, who follows that spiritual authority? Mm -hmm. Then how do they relate? How do they work with each other? Mm -hmm. How is the communication flow? Is it upwards? Is it downwards? Mm -hmm. Is it both ways? Mm -hmm. You get. So there are so many types of relationships that you can look at mm -hmm. in a church setup. It could be even from the uh, spiritual aspect. Mm -hmm. We can even come up with economic which is something that is really happening nowadays in uh, churches. Mm -hmm. People are really grouping up and coming up with economic relationships. You mm -hmm. get, even from the church, we get families. Mm -hmm. You get, from the church relationship, uh, you come get, uh, uh, see somebody, see something you like, mm -hmm. and you take it home, you get. Mm -hmm. So yeah. out of that, Man church relationship, mm -hmm. a family is born. You mm -hmm. begin another family relationship. Mm -hmm. So actually, I would this just come, came to mind right now. I would say uh, the man church relationship is the beginning of everything, mm -hmm. because we begin from when we are toddlers. Mm -hmm. We are still in church. Then uh, we go, we grow up, we start our own families. The, ma the church relationship is still there. Mm -hmm. This family relationship just began yeah. out of church, you get. So there are so many ways to look at it, again, depending on where you start. Mm -hmm. Yes. Maybe you ask something to add on? Yeah, I think I can add on what she said. <clears throat> uh, she began by saying like there are segments uh, in, in the church setup. You would find uh, we have youth, mm -hmm. uh, we have married men, or oh, was it? We call them was it? <laughs> <laughs> and we also have uh, the married women. Mm -hmm. So we have those groups, and there is a way they relate to one another. Mm -hmm. In fact, the Bible also there is a way Bible brings it out how they should coordinate. Mm -hmm. Say so the married the, the women the elder women teach uh, the younger ones. Mm -hmm. So there is a way they should relate. All that is a, it's a, it's also a kind of relationship that you find in church. You also find a relationship like uh, uh, people are in the same ministry. Mm. Uh, I might be in the same ministry, probably you sing. You play keyboard, I sing. Or I sing, somebody else plays drum. Mm -hmm. So there is that relationship. How do we relate with that? It's also inter-ministry, if there is something like that. Mm -hmm. There is ushering. How do they coordinate with a worship team? Mm -hmm. Uh, how do protocol relate with the deacons? Mm -hmm. How do pastor relate to his congregation? Mm -hmm. So there are so many with uh, 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 relationships within uh, 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 the body of Christ or the church that uh, it's very important and uh, it's, uh, if we know how they relate because at the end of the day there need to be harmony mm -hmm. in all those groups. Otherwise, uh, the Bible talks of body having many parts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So every part is able to, it should be coming to support a vision. Mm -hmm. So if uh, one uh, group or one segment is not playing its part, then you would find there is a, 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 a gap. Mm -hmm. So there is need to understand how do these people, how do I need to relate with my brother? Even mm -hmm. some of these people are not even in any ministry. I just come to church on Sunday. But how do I relate to my neighbor? Mm -hmm. How do I relate to somebody else who is just born again? Uh, again, we also uh, I can go outside just that small church setup. How do I relate to a believer mm -hmm. outside my church? Yeah. Because we share one Christ. Mm -hmm. So how do I relate with somebody who goes to Catholic? When they say, yeah, we're born again and I'm born again. Mm. I'm, from a, a, I'm a Protestant. So how do we relate? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there are so many relationships that you'll find uh, within the church setup, mm -hmm. yeah. Why is this relationship needed, Isaac? Sorry. Why do I need this? Why is this relationship needed? Uh, I said one. The reason why we need relationship, it's because uh, 
it is for a believer. You come to church because you cannot grow alone. Mm. For your growth is dependent on how you handle this circle. Otherwise, you can do your church alone, <laughs> at home or wherever you feel comfortable. Yeah. But you need people that you can work together, people who can strengthen you, sure. people who can counsel you, people who can help you grow. Mm -hmm. And all these people, they come to better you mm -hmm. in one way or the other. Pastor probably will give a word. Mm -hmm. But when we see it, uh, Gloria talked about economic. I might also bring another a relationship, economic or family, you find, and it was uh, the, the beginning point was the spiritual or the church relationship. Mm -hmm. So there are so many things that are born out of that relationship. Mm -hmm. And one of it, I said, it's your personal growth, spiritual mm -hmm. growth. Uh, you also grow socially mm -hmm. because you know how to interact and talk to people. Yeah. You need that. Uh, economically, too, uh, because there are economic uh, pursuit or Ventures that people have uh, begun within the church setup. Mm -hmm. uh, so there is so many, so so much that you find in the church setup, and you need to know how to talk to or relate mm -hmm. within that church setup. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe Gloria, uh, besides the importance of all these, no, how how do I even start? Because I can be a married man and I just decide to come and go, come and go. You know, there's no harm in doing that. How do I even start? you know, making links with my fellow married men for that case, or a youth. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Your fellow married men, indeed. <laughs> okay, so like Isaac said, uh, there is a song uh, that says, uh, I wish I could remember the words uh, correctly, but the song says, I need you, you need me, we need each other. Mm -hmm. You pray for me, I pray for you. Mm -hmm. You build me, I build you. Even when Jesus came, mm -hmm. when he started ministry, the first thing he did was to choose the disciples. Mm -hmm. You get So we need each other. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think in church today, we do not uh, realize the importance of having these relationships. So the first point into how do you begin this relationship is you yourself first taking it to heart. Mm -hmm. Have you ever asked yourself why is it that uh, at the end of the service, maybe the, the who is conducting the service, if it's the pastor or the deacons will say, let's have all the youth remain. Mm -hmm. And you are 500 of you during the service. But only 50 are going, remain, are, are going to remain. Mm -hmm. Where are the 450? Mm -hmm. Why are they not remaining? You, get you stop them, they have all manner of reasons. Mm -hmm. But the core reason is that they have not taken this to heart. Mm -hmm. You stop one who went and one who remained. You question them, like, why did you remain? It's because they value the relationship. So I would say to answer your question is to value the relationship because what you value, you create time for it. Mm -hmm. you get. So if you value the church relationship, if you value salvation, if you value God, if you value the church, you know, again, there are some of us who are just in those churches mm -hmm. and actually uh, you are there, but your mind is elsewhere. Mm -hmm. For example, you are in JCC, but your mind is in Elim, mm -hmm. you get. And we keep asking, so why do you keep coming? You get. So value where you are. Value your, again, church relationship is family based. We are a family. So if I value this relationship, if I value this family, if I value the youth family, if I value the married women family, then I will create time for it. Mm -hmm. But if I don't value it, nothing about it will make sense to me. Mm -hmm. I will begin to criticize everything that happens in there. I will see fault. Even when the pastor tells us to remain, to me will be like he's wasting my time. I have been here since nine months. I'm extend service. Mm -hmm. I'm a cooler time here too. Mm -hmm. You get mm -hmm. even the parents with all due respect, you hear some parents say, oh my kids, oh my kids. And those kids, they're in school from six to four, mm -hmm. 
but they have just been and it's on a Sunday they are not even going anywhere they you, you see <laughs> the other day <laughs> we had a parent who made a lot of noise because we delayed the the service delayed mm -hmm. so you are like the Sunday school teacher extended the class with a, just a few minutes so the service ended before the Sunday school could finish mm -hmm. and they complained and I was like oh my god if it were a, a class like in school and you came and you found the teacher still teaching mm -hmm. would you make noise you would wait comfortably in your car mm -hmm. take out a magazine or your phone and begin browsing and in fact you would be happy that the teacher has extended because it means whatever they were teaching mm -hmm. was of value mm -hmm. so it's because we do not value the church we do not value church time mm -hmm. we have so much when it's time to relate with the church family we have not created a place in our hearts mm -hmm. for this family called the church mm -hmm. yes. and isaac now that glory is talking of offenses mm -hmm. uh, is there a time when <laughs> somebody you know feels offended in church yes or no christian yes now, for example, now, uh, Glory is talking of a pastor extending the service. I think that's one of the <laughs> things that pastor offends <laughs> congregants. <laughs> I, how do you handle such cases? One, when a pastor has offended you for that case. Let's mm. begin with a pastor or a man of God. Uh, the offenses are different, and they're different levels. Mm -hmm. So, um, and they are handled differently. Because when you talk of time, probably this pastor is so consistent in, in <laughs> wasting time. I know people are different. Pastors are different. Mm -hmm. uh, but one thing, I, I will just say it generally because uh, we're not going to go to specifics, probably a certain uh, offense or this one. But generally, <clears throat> how you handle such offenses, probably for the man of God, one, you need to understand that uh, church is not a place of perfect people. Sure. You need to understand that mm -hmm. before anything else. <clears throat> All of us are going there to be uh, worked on. I'm not complete. So I'm going there to be worked on, on my discipline, on my speech. There are so many things that need to be worked on. So you define in the process of being worked on, I can step on you. Mm. I can step on you. And now since you're talking about the pastor, about the pastor or oh, the man of God, to the congregation or to uh, 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 an individual, uh, you'd find uh, one, the other thing you need to understand is that the men of God are also men. Mm -hmm. They are pastors yet, but they are still men. They think like you think, they feel like you feel. Uh, they go through what you're going through. Uh, some of them probably are going through stuff at home. <laughs> And uh, they do not have the capacity to handle mm -hmm. issues at home. Mm -hmm. So the next person who appears, you are Kubagiwa. So come on, you are in that. Uh, so uh, one, with that understanding, first, this is a man like me. Uh, you'd, you'd always give room for a mistake. That when something happens, you don't just rush to conclude, hey, you are a man of God, you should not be doing this. I say, my feelings to come away when I'm me. So, Kwanza, Kijua, Kwamba, this is a man, and I is a fanya makosa. So, Utakuan and Afasi Yam Samaha. So, that forgiveness, Lina Viba Kilakitu. Number two, when you talk of offense, uh, some offense we get ourselves into such offenses because a uh, pastor might be confronting a character in you that you don't want to change mm -hmm. so to you term that as an offense because mm -hmm. so every time pastor confronts that to you but it's something that is uh, driving, but for you because you make a block, kamba wezi pita hapa mimi ndio niko right. So uh, in such you need to look uh, like who who is on the wrong. Find out who is on the wrong. Could it be pastor or it's me? 
because it might be you but blame on amrushia because yeye ndiye ana anaka kama ndiye ana ku provoke kumbe wewe ndio uko on the wrong so you need to understand first he's a man he could make mistakes but again uh, could i be the one who is on the wrong so ukijua wewe ndio uko on the wrong can you be humble enough to accept the correction uh, number two, kama yeye ndiye uko on the wrong then what do you do forgiveness is very key mm-hmm. Uh, and we been bible talks about forgiveness and how it should be done jesus said uh, 77 times mm-hmm. uh, i don't know how uh, the calculation and how where would you sit and begin to count <laughs> hey, ya, ya kwanza ya pili ya tatu so like he meant it's timeless like you cannot number mm-hmm. The, the, the time that you're going to forgive one another. Mm. So if you can forgive your brother or your sister, then it's also required that you forgive also the man of God or your pastor. Sure. Yeah. But what if it's a consistent thing? Will you keep forgiving and forgiving and forgiving? Now, is, for, is, is there a way we can solve this thing once and for all? <laughs> <laughs> no, you see, kuna kule, kule inje likuwa, likuwa ni ngumi. Likuwa mpijia, mm-hmm. chora line. Yeah. Cross to malizane hii. Eh, Juhu sasa tujio nani yako kama ni mkali usha usha shinda mm-hmm. but now in this case i think uh, as i said if the pastor is still man of god mm-hmm. is also a man who can be talked to mm-hmm. and uh, when you are handling an issue it's good you handle it from both sides mm-hmm. uh, is the pastor also humble enough to accept the mistake mm-hmm. because kuna wale mimi ni pastor so chochote ntakachosema you need to follow yes. without any question mm-hmm. so there is no room for you to, for him to reason with you so if you find such a pastor it might be so hard mm-hmm. but ukikana na pastor umeleza eh hey, pastor umenikosea na pastor i know there are pastors by the way but they are humble enough ukionesha hey, i never so i'm sorry and they will ask for for, for forgiveness mm-hmm. and uh, i heard of a pastor not had i it's uh, my my pastor uh, somewhere mm-hmm. uh, not here in mombasa eh alikuwa tu anakuja naomba msamaha tafadhali nimeomba msamaha like he can realize is a she in fact she could realize i've done wrong against the congregation or an individual mm-hmm. and she would do that publicly or even in private so if you, if you find such a person ambia pastor hapo umenikosea na akaomba msamaha then you have the right person that you have. Now, babaye ni pale yeye ndio kusema we chako kusikiza eh inakuwa ni ni, ni <laughs> inakuwa ni ngumu but i want to be i want to be more specific on this um. now for example let's say we are in a in a youth fellowship maybe mm. and there's this common common thing that happens in 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 youth fellowships where mm. you realize that there's there's gossips all over and of course it it makes so many people to know run away from that particular ministry or maybe present worship mm-hmm. how do you handle that <laughs> Okay I I like the way Isaac has put it eh? especially that part for confronting characters we don't want to change mm-hmm. I'm not against the youth mm-hmm. <laughs> so when we are going to be handling this I would wish we we'll be very tactical and very realistic mm-hmm. with it you get most of the time uh, most of the times we as believers we do not per se give the holy spirit room that he deserves in any relationship okay mm-hmm. now let's narrow it down to the kind of relationship that we are talking about in this particular segment which is the man and church relationship okay before you go anywhere or into any ministry mm-hmm. you are already in church right mm-hmm. now mm-hmm. so before you go into any ministry even as a mere member ensure that you you have prayed and the holy spirit of god has led you and has witnessed to you to come and join this ministry okay so now let's you have already prayed and uh, you are now in the youth ministry you get for example what isaac was saying uh, 
we are we are to go to go kwa service and this, this particular pastor who loves saying wanarika wanarika this wanarika that wanarika and the young people nowadays they are very knowledgeable and very empowered they don't take it kindly mm -hmm. you get i had an instance uh in a certain congregation where you are the pastor you are preaching there in front mm -hmm. and the youth are busy tweeting you here they are busy sharing you you get mm -hmm. so because most of them every time you stand up to speak it's an attack you are giving mm -hmm. again we go back to correction even if it is correction you are doing it, we are doing it. how are you doing it you get so there is the being cognizant of if we are to handle each other in a relationship mm -hmm. most so where somebody is on top like in the youth ministry then we have to be co the pastor has to be cognizant of the congregants mm -hmm. and he himself such that even if it's a behavior he is correcting then how are you correcting it imagine a pastor who comes in front they have had like you like you asked maybe in a praise and worship mm -hmm. and there is gossip that is going around maybe it's about you or about somebody else mm -hmm. you get then instead of that person coming to you to talk to you they come and talk about it during a sermon mm -hmm. you get or uh, somebody goes to the pastor and tells them something so instead of the pastor coming to ask you they go and announce it on the pulpit mm -hmm. how will that sit down you see how will that settle down yes you are a spiritual authority mm -hmm. and you are the one with the microphone so i cannot say anything mm -hmm. or whoever is the has been offended cannot say anything mm -hmm. so how do we handle that so fast let us give the holy spirit the room he deserves because the holy spirit will give you self control mm -hmm. he will give you the spirit of discernment to know how and when to see it mm -hmm. again when it comes to ministry make sure you are, the bible says i think it's in the book of proverbs where it says be slow to uh it says um uh actually it's the book of james chapter 1 verse 19 mm -hmm. swift to hear slow to speak and slow to slow to anger so if it is rumors that are going round be the first roadblock unajua kama kitu inakuja speed alafu ikutane na roadblock what does it do ina hata inaweza ikaroll yani ikakufa kabisa you get so if it is if it is uh, rumors that have been going round make sure zingine zinaenda at a very fast and i came to realize let alone even in church i pray one day we have this opportunity to talk about the workplace mm -hmm. you see the workplace is one of the places where gossip about you will reach everybody else mm -hmm. faster than it reaches you such that by the time ukija kujua unapigwa transfer kila mtu anajua wewe peke yako ndio ujui that unapigwa transfer you get so be the first roadblock that that rumor meets such that brian you have heard something about Isaac. Mm -hmm. Can we stop talking about it? And can we call Isaac? Just like the Bible says in the book of Matthew. Mm -hmm. You get when you have an issue with a brother, go to them and talk to them about it. Mm -hmm. You get. So first again always make reference to the word of God. Even Mr. Google is there nowadays. Anakwaga ameokoka na kuna ile side nyingine. Anaweza tu akakuguide akakwambia kukuwa na chat GPT. Eh? Mm -hmm. Chat GPT imekuja. Yes. <laughs> Google anaweza akakusaidia. Mm -hmm. You are like hata unaweza tu ende uka Google. I had a rumor in church. <laughs> what do I do about it? It will take you to verses in the Bible that mm -hmm. tells you that when you have an issue with a brother, it is not your business mm -hmm. to go talk telling other people. Mm -hmm. Go face that particular brother. Be like Brian bana sifi. Mimi nimesikia kuhusu na ningependa first hear the other side. Ningependa nisikie 
What do you have to say about Isaac is saying you are a Juzi umanekana and flani ukiba. Ama Isaac is saying you are a you are a moron. The things No, I'm not saying No, I just said it. Because those are the things we yeah, 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 get sure. painted for. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Because leo nimeonekana na Mr. Director mm-hmm. or Mr. Martin mm-hmm. tukitembea yeah. the next thing you hear in church ni Gloria wako na Martin. Mm-hmm. You get. Sasa mimi na Martin ni mabeshte tu. Tumetoka tu kukunywa chai. You mm-hmm. get. So before you become a one more channel, one more avenue of rumamongari. Mm-hmm. Make sure that your mouth is slow to speak mm-hmm. do not be part and parcel of the gossip that goes around take it upon yourself first pray and uh, god forgive us we always go around spreading rumors about people but very few the and we call ourselves brethren very few actually go on their knees and pray for that person mm-hmm. concerning it is more fun for me to come and tell Isaac ah hey Brenda Brenda we ska mana Brenda but very few mm-hmm. will hear that thing and keep quiet about it and go to their prayer chambers and say god i surrender Brenda to your able hands whatever weakness because zengine ni characters tu ziko Whatever weakness Brenda may have for men such that every time a man touches her like this her skirt comes down God I pray that you will strengthen Brenda strengthen her character we don't do that we para 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 so the first thing even before you and that, don't just go to people with words eh? <laughs> some people <laughs> They are ready for you. <laughs> When you come with words, they are ready Sister for you. Sister Brenda. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so even before you go to somebody with your words that you have heard, mm-hmm. pray about it first. Pray that God give them a receptive heart. Because mm-hmm. unaweza kutia mtu na venye umemkujia, tarudi kwa njia saba my friend. Mm-hmm. Yes. Isaac. Mm. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Bado niko kwa Sister Brenda. <laughs> No, just to add on what she said, I think uh, I will also bring in what I said from the beginning. Yeah. That church is a place of uh, imperfect, imperfect people. people. Yeah. That you're not going to find everybody complete. Mm-hmm. But uh, <clears throat> all of us, uh, uh, we are there to grow. Mm. We are there to be worked on. Mm-hmm. Because we're still not at our best version. So there is something that I want to learn in church there is something that I want to receive and uh, I can get it either from the pastor mm-hmm. or even from my uh, fellow brethren I can get it from even from my fellow minister mm-hmm. so I, I think that part of knowing how to relate well especially when we talk, now when it comes to offense mm-hmm. uh, it, it is very heavy and we we're talking about the the consistent offenses mm. uh, how to handle it the bible i think she mentioned it in matthew 18 mm. where first thing when somebody offends you you go to them number two, if that person does not listen to you bring a witness mm. two or three and if the the person is also not willing to listen to these people uh, you bring the church <laughs> then the the third or the fourth step is that you treat them like either that's 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 <laughs> bible's prescription uh, so that that knowing how to handle one another the first handle it to you uh, if they can understand i said if the pastor can listen, your brother can listen then you handle it and finish at that level mm-hmm. but there are those other two three levels that will come if the first one does not work mm-hmm. yeah maybe isaac there's some accusations that maybe it's mm-hmm. true mm-hmm. i did it but now the way it's being handled is the problem yeah you know now 
how do I even <laughs> how, how do I solve that? Like myself, I know I made a mistake. I know this is what I did. It's true. I did it. Mm. But now the way it has been handled, mm-hmm. okay, uh, I stole. Mm. God forbid. Mm. And Gloria had that I stole. Instead of Gloria coming to me, you stole it to Isaac. You stole it to Martin. You stole it to Brenda. You know, I even don't know that this information is just. And of course, I've, I've not denied. Mm. I also know that I did it. Yeah. Now, when I find myself in such a where there's a problem that happened, like the prostitute woman, you mm. know, where now everybody talks about it, yet mm. how, how can you, how can you, you know, bring yourself into your real self? Because you know, such things really hurt, and mm. it has resulted so many people running away from church because of such stuff. Mm. How do you bring back yourself to the track? Mm. Uh, I think uh, I'm happy that you brought up the issue of the prostitute. And uh, again, I'm also happy that we are talking about this here. These are some of the things that never, are never talked about. Uh, they are, can call them sensitive. <laughs> because, uh, but people are hurting in church. Sure. People are hurting in church. Mm. Simply because of how an issue, an issue was handled. In fact, some of them, some of the issues were not true. Yes, it, we can have such case where it's true, but some others are not true, and the rumors were so powerful until the truth could not prevail. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They were too powerful. Everybody knows about it. Mm-hmm. So uh, I think in such a case, uh, the option and the advice that I can give to somebody is, one, find a person that you can trust. Find a person that you can trust within the church. If the pastor uh, is a man that you can talk to and he understand your case, then he can wa- help you out. Find a man that you can trust and who can hear you. Because uh, I, uh, what today we have, today we have uh, people who knows how to talk, but they don't know how to listen. Mm-hmm. So if you can find a person, one, in church, who can listen to you, uh, go to them, talk to them. They, will, they can advise, they can pray with you uh, out of the situation. Uh, number two, uh, what you need to do is to go to God and repent, genuinely. In fact, that should come first. Yeah. That should come first. That Lord, I acknowledge that I did this, but this is not what I wanted to do probably a mistake or it's a character that you're still working on and uh, you've not been able to overcome it, but you're still growing. So ask for forgiveness from God. Mm-hmm. Men may not <laughs> forgive you mm-hmm. instantly, but if you, you forgive yourself and God forgives you, then uh, if men forgives you well and then you are at peace within yourself. Mm-hmm. So first thing, pray. Tell God, forgive me. Mm-hmm. But two, uh, if you can find somebody, as I say, go to that person. Mm-hmm. Number three, uh, at times such an environment become toxic mm-hmm. for your growth. Uh, I would advise if it's too much and you've not been able to find solution mm-hmm. or to find somebody that you can talk to, mm-hmm. and uh, this thing is so much on your head that you cannot handle it, I would advise get a, a different fellowship. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Gloria, the way you've talked about this issue, I feel it's, it's like you have a personal experience on this. <laughs> <laughs> really? It's like you have a personal really experience. Really? Now, <laughs> you know, sometimes uh, you, you make a mistake, Gloria. Mm-hmm. I remember this the time I had some issues in church. Mm-hmm. And wherever I went to sing, mm-hmm. anytime I saw the person that spoke about that thing, the thing that sings in my mind is, Brian, you did this, Brian, you did this, Brian, <laughs> so the song is not even coming. Mm. Gloria, how do I get out of this tire? Uh, okay, I don't know about the personal experience, but mm-hmm. okay, we have all had our fair share of church rumors. Yeah, sure. We have all had our fair share. That one is for sure. Mm. Uh, <laughs> I like the way Isaac put it. I wouldn't put it in a better way. If it's true, you've done it, right? Mm-hmm. 
the, the maybe the rumor mm -hmm. that was being spread about your by by your fellow minister in the praise and worship team. Mm -hmm. Let's let's uh, put it hypothetically. First, it is true mm -hmm. you did it, mm -hmm. So, pray, repent. Mm -hmm. God, by the way, doesn't like justification of sin. When mm -hmm. I justify it, that's very bad. When you have been in a, uh, umajipata in a situation, mm. do not be defensive. Okay. Kabisa, mm. so be defensive. Mm -hmm. Nye -nye care. Mm. Remember, he exalts the who? The humble. The humble. Mm -hmm. So humble yourself first. And uh, in ministry, now let me talk to the ministers, mm -hmm. especially the praise and worship team. If you, this is the camera, right? Mm -hmm. If you have messed up against your body, mm -hmm. do not make a mistake of going to serve on that altar. When your ways are not right with God, you will kill yourself. Mm -hmm. You get. Something happened, we again, like uh, Isaac said, we are humans and we make mistakes. So something happens no mejipata tu we were na sister Brenda. Okay. We were na sister Brenda. We were na sister Brenda. Zime happen tu. You get. If you are in ministry, especially that one of the altar, repent and if possible step down for a while. Okay. D okay. Different churches have different policies. Mm -hmm. There are those ones you immediately become an outcast. Iyo tunaenda ile step ya mwisho kabisa aiza kamesema find another fellowship. That one is nothing we can do about it. But if it's an accommodative ministry, take time, pray, repent, find somebody you can trust, walk with them, and have a forgiving heart. When you hear a rumor, ninety percent. Our lies. Only 10% is true in oh. it. Brian has stolen, but we will be told Brian is a robber. Mm -hmm. Brian has a gun. <laughs> Brian anapiga watu ngeta. In fact, zile simu zote zisha waipotea kwa hii uduma ni Brian amechukua. Na tukiona Brian tukua tunafanya hivi. Mitu zetu tuweke, safe. On your face, there are some congregants or even ministers who are very unforgiving. Wao ndio ukipita. Nasikia, ukena kusumama kwa microphone. Ah, sis, Brian. Nasuli kwa na Brenda Juzi. Nasuli ya Brenda ata ilisha ga, kapisa ya nilisha. Lakini bado, tukotua hapo. You get. So, in such a situation, you need to have a very big heart. Mm -hmm. Na wewe pia, kama binadamu, elewa ya kwamba, ulifanya mako? Makosa. So stop uh, assuming that uh, all of a sudden everything will be okay. You also have to pay for your own mistakes. Mm -hmm. Own. Own your mistake. Do not run away from your personal blunders. Mm -hmm. Don't run away from them. You get so, uh, in a nutshell, let's just put it this way. If it's something you've done, pray, repent about it. Find somebody you can trust to work with. If you are in ministry, step down for a while to work on yourself. You get. Mm -hmm. And make sure the, day, the time you're going back to ministry, the man of God, the spiritual authority in that ministry has prayed for you. And if it's somebody, maybe you offended directly. Okay, to say, to me again, mfano wa Brenda. Brenda amechukua bwana ya mtu. I make sure, I make sure that... Amerudisha. The, <laughs> amerudisha. Amerudisha huyo bwana. Na huyo bibi ya huyo bwana. Amemsame. So if it is maybe you have offended somebody directly, make sure they are, they are forgiven you. If you stepped on somebody's toes, make sure that you, you've asked for forgiveness. Mm -hmm. And whether or not they forgive you, that's another story for another day. Mm -hmm. 
if it's a false accusation mm -hmm. tafadhali naomba bwana kusaidie <laughs> again work with somebody you can trust and pray mm -hmm. that at the end of the day the truth will be revealed mm -hmm. pray for the spirit of god to give you the strength to overcome because again those are just the normal challenges we go through mm -hmm. yeah uh, I, I, I don't want to continue this conversation because I can see our time is far much spent. Maybe mm -hmm. Isaac, I, I really wanted to ask you about this issue where Ndogo Isaac Ajani Bariki, you know, Unashanga Sashidi Kofi, is it me and you or me and God? But oh. we'll carry that to the next conversation. Yeah. Maybe uh, Isaac, if you have anything that you want to tell to our listeners today, maybe using your camera. Yeah, uh, choose my camera. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> uh, uh, when you go to church, first you need to to understand that ni kama hospital. Mm. Tunaenda kutibiwa sote. Sote tuko wagonjwa. Even you yourself you you're not complete. So when ni mgonjwa pia. Na utapata wagonjwa wengine wa zaidi kukushinda. So us complain kwa sababu wa wamelemwa na ugonjwa kukushinda. <laughs> So be open, be open that we are coming to grow. Uh, and also to every other person, I might be working on my salvation, but every other person also need to know that and they need to work on their salvation. The Bible says with fear and trembling. Yeah. So when everybody works on their own way, on their own uh, relationship with God, then the rest uh, of, of relationships will be uh, working well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gloria. Uh, tunza mausiano yako kanisani. Value the relationships that you have in church with your men of God, with your fellow ministers. Do not carry offense. Seek somebody. Seek somebody to help you overcome offense. And if you're in ministry, do not give up because of offense. Ni kama hospitali venyeza kama sema. Nenda utibiwe na urudi kwa uduma. Na buwana atakubariki. Amen. Mm -hmm. And uh, we put a full stop at that point. Uh, if you have any questions, if you have any comment, please put it in the comment section and we'll be answering them right away. If you have any topic that you want us to handle on your behalf, then we are here to do it as you request. My name is Brian Moses Okoto, 107-9895-0046 are our studio numbers. If you have anything that you want to bring to our attention, we are here to listen. I've come out with two things. One, everybody, every community in a church are your fellow human beings and a man is to error. And two, find a person if you have a problem. See you next time. Bye-bye. <clears throat>